Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I picked up something little from Hermes and this is just the bag. So, oops, I'll remove that. And here is the item that I picked up. It is one of the newest colors for, for this specific item and it's been selling like hotcakes. Like it's been really, really popular ever since this color came out. And if you guys know, you guys know what I love from Hermes and you guys can probably guess what it is. So let's get right into it. So this specific item I found at the Hermes Boutique in Toronto. There's only one Hermes Boutique here in Toronto and it is in Yorkville. And that's where I got it from. My sales associate told, suggested this to me. I was actually looking at a different one. And as you guys can see, it's slippers or shoes. So here we have the beautiful orange sandals. And those of you who guys know Hermes and their colors, you guys probably recognize this color. It is the Hermes orange sandals in the Etoupe color, which is basically like a dark grayish brown, or I would say dark brown with gray undertones. Like it's a very, very Hermes classic color. And honestly, it's stunning. It's in the size 37 and a half. I wore it around in the house, so that's why it looks like this. I haven't worn it out even once yet. So yeah, so I got these. I was actually looking at the natural color, uh, which I do have the Oasis sandals for as well, but I wanted also the orange in the natural color. And the only reason why I wanted those were because they were Epsom leather. And when I found out that these are Epsom leather, I was like, oh my God, what a dream. And my um, sales associate also suggested that I get these since they're new and this color hasn't been released in orange sandals before. That's what he said. I'm not too sure if that's true, but I've personally never seen orange sandals in this classic color Utoop, which is why I went for these. I do have a few other pairs. If you guys go down on my channel, you guys can see all my different orange sandals. Um, a lot of them are in the lambskin leather material or calfskin leather material and which is why it's very prone to creasing. Let me just grab my white pair quickly to show you guys how it's been wearing. So here's my white pair and I've had these for over a year, well not over a year, almost a year. I bought them a year ago last summer. And as you guys can see, there is significant creasing because this leather is prone to creasing. And then there's also these foot marks as well. This is the back. I know nobody wants to see that, so I'll just flip it back over. But the main point was to show you guys the creasing. And then if you look at this leather, the Epsom leather, you guys can see how much of a difference there is. This is a, a hard wearing leather generally, even with bags and things like that. So this is my first pair of Epsom leather orange sandals. And if you guys have any other orange sandals in the Epsom leather, please let me know because I would love to add some Epson leather orange sandals in my collection. I definitely prefer these, even though these are my first ones. I know I prefer these because of course, obvious reasons. This is my most worn pair, definitely. So maybe that's why it also has a lot of wear. I wear these even more than some of the other neutral colors that I do own, like the gold and some other ones. But yeah, that's why I just wanted to show you guys this one. So the price point for these is around 905 Canadian dollars after taxes, I think. Wait, let me just check the receipt. Yeah, so it is 904 Canadian dollars after taxes. And in British pounds, it's 510 British pounds. I purchased this from Toronto. So yeah, I told you guys the price in Canadian dollars. Yeah, another thing I really like about these sandals is this little brown edging type of thing that they have there. It gives it kind of a two-tone type of look. Um, I know some of them are fully the same color as the sole, but yeah, I honestly, I love, love, love orange sandals. I definitely think they're worth it. A lot of people don't think they're worth it, but for me, they are, and I find them comfortable. I know some people, other YouTubers have also complained about the noise it makes when you're walking, like the clicking noise, but for me, it's fine. I think it depends on the size that you get. So for me, 37 and a half is a really good size. 37 would work better, but I just like a bit more room in my feet for me to feel more comfortable. Definitely 37 would be a perfect fit, but 37 and a half is what I prefer. So I would definitely suggest you guys sizing up half 
a size if you guys want more comfort and room in the front of your feet if you have wider feet if you don't have wide feet i would say stick true to size because i know a lot of people do purchase them online but i definitely did purchase these in boutique especially because they're a new color and they weren't available online for purchase let me just show you guys the box and the color so here it is orange sandals epsom and in the color of tube 37 and a half so if you guys want to screenshot that if you guys are looking to purchase these there you have it and i know some of you have asked me on instagram as well as well as here on my comments on my other videos to see a full orange sandal collection video i will definitely post that for you guys honestly i love them cost per wear probably not the best in a country where winter is majority of the time but still worth it for me and let me know your guys' thoughts on orange sandals definitely would love to hear that from you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed these orange sandals unboxing video and let me know what you guys want to see on my channel as well and until next time have a great day peace